into... Um, as a financial advisor, Matt Airy is always thinking about the future. But after graduating from college with some significant student loan debt, the plan for his future was delayed a bit. It kind of hindered me in my first steps um, of independence. Instead of renting or buying his own home, Airy initially lived with and cared for older relatives to cut back on costs. And though he wanted to start law school, his debt put that dream on hold. It definitely limits your, your ability to, to choose kind of the careers that you want to do or where you're going to be. And that's, I mean, that's, uh, that's definitely hard. This is the reality for college graduates everywhere. In the last 30 years, student loan debt in the United States has skyrocketed. According to a recent study, in 1985, it was totaling $35 billion. Today, we're talking $1.5 trillion. And that's not all. There certainly are a lot of studies out there about people putting off decisions because of that student loan debt. Martha Johnston has seen the roadblocks that come with college debt, like buying a home or car. She and her team at the Financial Authority of Maine help student borrowers pay off their loans and get them on a path to success that works for them. Johnston says things like completing your degree, avoiding overborrowing, and creating a financial roadmap can make a huge difference. It really is worth it. It's just really doing it in a way where you're informed, you're empowered, you're making those decisions that are right for you, and you're doing it with your eyes wide open. That eyes wide open approach is what helped people like Ari eventually buy his first home and start law school. Though it might have taken him a little longer to achieve, he says it's better late than never. For me, it was a very calculated choice because you, the more proactive you are with it, the better off you're going to be.